we have a very striking testimony. And we have the testifier right before us here. And we want him to share his testimony of what the Lord has done for him. And through this testimony tonight, the Lord will bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Dr. Samuel Oshashona, a medical practitioner. Standing here with me is Mr. Paulinius Ifarume. He has a testimony to share concerning what God did for him and his family after the prayer of the man of God. He will introduce himself now, share his testimony. Please, let's listen to him. Please, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My names are Paulinus Ifarume. I'm from Ewotubu Group of District, Children Medical Center. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I'm giving a testimony of my son that survived a crash. In fact, uh, this this testimony, I want it to be global. That is why I reserve it today. Uh, today. My son went for a solo flight with the company that he's working with. At the end of it all, he was already on the air. One of the engines of, uh, of the plane, air, uh, of the aircraft, busted on the air. And the engine started burning. He born and inside the aircraft, everywhere was hot, according to my son. He, he was looking for a place to crash land. There was not. He called in, uh, the nearest uh, airport and he crash landed. They prepared a, way, uh, a, a place for him and he crash landed. At the end of it all, he said when he got down, he jumped out of uh, the aircraft and naughty hurt him at all. Yeah. Where this testimony comes from is that, well, I want to give you one advice that if uh, you receive a prayer, please share the, the blessing among your people. I went to DLCC to go and uh, work. I went there as a volunteer. When we, the, uh, the project we were about to complete it, but we couldn't do it. And the GS said that, pro, that uh, uh, conference must hold. Then, about a few days to the time of uh, the conference, our leader, Pastor Dada, he called me. He said, the way Pastor prayed for us today, he said he has never prayed like that. That he want this, uh, this particular project to be, uh, to be completed so that they will be able to hold that uh, conference. He pray, He said he prayed. I called uh, Pastor Dada. I said, well, I said, this one that the pastor has prayed for us, I said, for me, I share my, uh, my blessing among all my children and my family. So at the end of it all, when he told me that uh, he jumped out of the aircraft and everything was... Uh, you know, Bonnie, I remember, I said, look, that is the work of God. That when you are inside the aircraft, I said, at the moment that engine got burst, already God has already sent his uh, angel to, uh, to pilot the plane. That is how he gets down. As when you say you jump down, you never jump down. Now, God carry you and put you on the ground. So, you cannot, because when you see the height of the air, uh, aircraft, you didn't use a, a parachute, you, you have not used anything, then you came down like that. It, I, I, I told myself, my son, I said, 
did you think that it's so easy like that for someone to jump down from the airport, uh, from the airplane? So that is how he came down. I said, God has did, did everything and carried my son and dropped it down without hurt. So that is what God has done for me. So, praise the Lord. Anytime you get a prayer, a serious prayer, please don't forget to share the blessing among your people. I've shared my own. This one happened uh, first week to uh, to first week of August, and this particular incident happened on the twenty first of August. You can see that I've really, all my blessing that I've spread over my family through the prayer of uh, our general superintendent. He has gone to them. And we are all free in Jesus' name. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Praise Put the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Lose him. Lose him. Lose him. We're going to listen to another testimony online. I was born with my left hand twisted. Because of that, my parents flew me to London for a surgery. After that, it became worse. We observed that my left hand was shorter than the other. While growing up, I had insecurities with my hand, especially while taking pictures, and it was constantly painful. My name is Christiana Aguede, and I'm excited to be a partaker of God's miracle at the GCK in Zambia. During the GCK in Zambia, Pastor Kumi mentioned a case of short leg growing out. Then I quietly prayed for my own case to be mentioned. The next day, surprisingly, he mentioned my own case. Right off hands, withered hands, short hands. Grow out now in Jesus' name. I prayed to God while the prayers were going on. I did not check it until we got back to the hostel. Then I checked it. I was unsure. I checked it again. Then I checked it again. Then I asked my roommate if she noticed if my hands were equal. Then she answered, yes, looking at me with confusion, not knowing what was going on. From that moment, I got my miracle. Praise the Lord. The Lord has given me my miracle. My hands are equal now. Praise the Lord. 